Hey guys, it's 2010 and Toadie has blessed us with a new version of Dwarf Fortress. I'm Captain Duck and these are the all new 2010 Dwarf Fortress video tutorials. Let's start and watch the intro. In a second. Here we are, this is the main menu of the game. Uh, as you can see this is the 2010 version or 31.03. Um, there's a couple of changes in this new version and those changes have made some of my old videos out of date. Most are still so fine, you can still build a bed in the same way but there's a couple of key changes which I'll handle in this new series of videos. It'll be much shorter too uh, because of that. and uh, um, those changes, there's there's quite big ones. Um, one of the biggest ones is uh, selecting a site. Uh, I'll cover that in a moment. And why is it different? Because the whole world has changed. Uh, every site, everywhere in the world, has much more underground stuff now. There's caves, uh, which with lots of nasty stuff and guaranteed in every site. And if you dig down deep enough, you'll reach the, like the core of the world with the great magma seas and um, it can be very dangerous let's uh, yeah I can say that anyway um, there's also some couple of other changes like uh, farming has a, a little a minor change uh, farming in the beginning is a bit tougher um, I'll handle that too um, what else has changed uh, the military the military was yeah, a thing now it's uh, much more detailed, you can set everything, but it's also become much, much more complicated in this new version. Um, the other changes is, uh, there's a whole new uh, healthcare system for the dwarves. Uh, there's Doctor's Dwarf now, and um, in the previous versions, your dwarves got sick, and now if they get sick, there's a doctor to try and heal them. And in the previous version, they just died, or uh, lay in bed for the rest of the game. Um, also, for all the new players, I uh, made a version you can play along with, which I've uh, put the download link uh, right here, right now, under this. And uh, this new version is using the same version I'm using. Uh, it has the same world, uh, the same site in it, the same settings, even the same um, uh, graphic pack that I'm using, uh, the Mike Mayday graphic pack. And um, you can download it and you can play along if you want. Now, let's start with the tutorial. Um, I'm starting the game. I'm going for the, uh, the Dwarf Fortress mode. As you saw, there's a new uh, object testing arena too. But um, I'm just going to focus on Dwarf Fortress for now and how the game works. So, let's import the world. If you're playing along, you'll get the same world I have. If not, you're, you can just use Scythe. Um, or, uh, and anyway, for sight, there's a couple of things you need to know. Uh, in the past, it was like th very important to have a couple of things, like um, uh, magma was one very important thing. Uh, if you want magma forges, which you really want, actually. And that's not that important anymore, because uh, every site is magma. If you just dig down deep enough, as I said, you, you reach the core of the planet, and there's tons of magma there. Now, what you want to look out for in a site is um, uh, white things, things like siltstone uh, or dolomite or let's see if I can find some other stirred limestone. You see they're, they're white over here. That uh, that's what you should be looking for. That means it's a type of sedimentary rock, and uh, that means it has a lot of ore and like a lot of iron in it and lots of coal in it, and you will have to use that. Uh, also, uh, what you still don't want is an aquifer in your site. Uh, those blue things over here. Um, they, uh, they're water-bearing rock, and if you dig through them, water comes out, and you you can flood your own whole, your whole fortress. It can be pretty dangerous. Um, that's basically it. Um, if you want more information about the world, uh, go check my old video number number one. 
it shows more about this. Um, one thing though, the site finder with F is pretty useless nowadays, so don't use that, just find your own site. Just look for the sealed stone, uh, or uh, the white stuff. Uh, but for now, for the people playing along, I've prepared a version. If you press capital R, you go exactly to the, this place. It's a, a great place I prepared. It is dolomite, it's, it's obsidian, it has sand, everything uh, you want in the fort, basically. In a, uh, also a lot of trees, and a nice, quiet environment. So let's go here, pressing E to reclaim. Come on, and I'll do that in a moment. And then I'll go prepare. Um, if you use my version, I've uh, prepared my own set. Uh, Mike Media has prepared this custom set too for the video for his set, but I'm prepared mine too, which I like more. Um, in this, I take uh, seven dwarfs with me as always. Uh, two are miners. This is a carpenter, a mason, a woodcutter, uh, who is also an axeman and a shield user. Uh, this guy, this guy, is also my my planter, my my farmer. And the last guy is uh, a doctor and leader, basically. Um, also, as you saw, there was a little error with the items. Uh, some this also ha this always happens for some reason. You lose some of the food types. I'm gonna add it. Um, and what do you know? Cave lobster is available. Weird. Uh, for more information about preparing, uh, go watch the first video. Also. Uh, Try if you've got a new version than I have. Try looking for uh, turtles. Type in turtle and see if you can get one. Turtles are nice to have in your fortress. Unfortunately, there aren't any available here. Um, for the rest of the options, oh, I got the name of the fortress and the group. Um, let me find a good name. Pausing the video for a second. Deep Hammers. That will be the name. Um, now for the group. I'll name that um, the Butcher of Forests. Fine name. Um, okay, let's continue. Uh, I've added everything. The ca added cave lobster. Let's go uh, to the site. I'm embarking now, and you have arrived from the mountain homes. Hey, still gate routed? Oh well. Um now the game in a moment will start. And then there we go. Here we are. Dwarf Fortress, the new version. Uh from the looks of things, uh, not much have changed, yeah. My tile set has changed. This is the uh the famous Mike Mayday tile set, which is used by a lot of people. And um it looks pretty good, but it's basically still the same game. Um, in this first video, let's look around my area. Uh, there's this great valley over here, uh, the old card which I've started the old fortress with, which in, in which I've done nothing basically. I've done one thing. I've made a central staircase. That's over here, to the left of my fortress, or where you start, and I've made it, and it goes all the way down. And I did this because there's some interesting stuff here on the ground. I'll show you. There's a hidden now, but if I press DN and remove those walls, which I've put up in the uh, previous version, and there are other couple of places too, there's a lot of stuff to, lo uh, to look around in. Um, I'll pause the video and uh, show you everything. Okay, I've uncovered all the stuff. I'm going down here my main shaft, which I've prepared for all of you. As you can see, there's a whole cave level on the ground now. Giant cave, there's only a fraction of it you can see from it. There's a sort of fog of war now. Uh, as you can see, it goes pretty deep. Looking around here. And this is just only the first level. Um, here's another cave. Which goes even deeper. And which has magma. Pretty near the surface. At only like 20 levels under the surface, which is a miracle in this new version. Normally you'd have to dig, dig down like 100 levels. And also this version has something very nasty. Um, down further even here, I've prepared a path. 
and here is this great big fortress this is a demon fortress it's a fortress to hell and it will kill you so don't go near it anyway um, leaving it that uh, that saw me too well camel uh, I'm out of time in the next video I'll uh, actually start teaching some new stuff like uh, the farming in the military but uh, this is it for now um, hope you enjoyed and uh, yeah, see you guys later.